You want to get nuts? Let's get nuts. Get the fuck, shut the fuck up. Gentlemen, welcome to today's very quick unboxing review. And this is one huge bad wing. Ultra value for money. I think it's a must buy because how can you get such a big bad wing for just 250 US dollars? I buy a ready stock and I found out that the Taobao from China actually got it first. So I immediately paid. And today's video is a two-parter. Okay, first is the unboxing of this and the other one is I 3D printed a Keaton Batman in McFarlane scale. I do a little bit of changes on the head. The original body is actually from the Wicked Patron but I changed the head from this, the CG trader which I think is quite okay. And if anyone is interested in getting this 3D printed because like me, I don't like action figures because I don't want to see all those joints okay and I seldom really play around with my action figures so I prefer 3D print a statue a non-movable statue to stand side by side with this bad wing if anyone interested I might come up with a fundraising okay I'll explain more at the end of the video so without further ado let's open this up Okay guys, this box is so huge and beautifully designed. Okay, I wonder how they put in such huge bat wing into this small box. Okay, but once I open it up, ah, this is how they pack it. Okay, separate parts, both wing and the main body. <laughs> it's packed beautifully and this is for the wall mount. Okay. And the whole bat wing isn't very heavy as well as the wing and all parts they have the left and right logo or words there so we don't really assemble it wrongly okay so huge even this small part as well it got the left and right words there okay make sure you check it out before you install it and the whole bat wing wasn't too heavy okay quite light in weight and this is for the wall mount okay but i don't really want to drill a hole in my wall so i try to display it using this base on top of the table okay and this tool is the metal rod quite heavy and now let's put it on hmm looks I thought it would be taller but uh, okay looks okay with the base it can stand the weight but then I realized it got the wheels below the bat wing okay take it out all the wheels top the side and display it on the table so I'm gonna keep this because it looks better like this okay display it on your table now let's check out some close-up details overall the paint is okay even they have the dry brushing effects on top of it as you can see so it depends on you whether you want to paint it or not but i don't have the time if i have the time i will paint it in matte black okay this is too huge i got a lot of printing orders or painting orders to finish and one more thing i think i'll give credit to McFarlane instead of putting a sticker all these buttons you can actually feel it okay it's a physical button so kudos to them and now let's go for the painting process as you can see this is original hit from the page uh, wicked patron and this is the unmasked version I print this mask version in full body but still need to do a little bit of sanding okay but then uh, when I try to assemble this, I print in separate parts. It's really tiring, especially the cape, the sanding part. You need to put on a lot of putty. 
you see so I give up I reprint the whole body full body again and now it looks okay as you guys know that my printer is not working for almost two months so once I bought a new LCD I immediately print this looks okay for the head I prefer this head than the original one from Berserk Wicked Patron and display it side by side with the bat wing it's beautiful now put it inside the cockpit yeah it's nice maybe I'll do a sitting pose okay if I have a time <laughs> yes. can stand on top of it beautiful now the painting process as usual you can check out my previous video okay on the skin painting this is a very quick one and it's so small i'm having a hard time painting the eyes so i really respect those painters that can paint those very small miniature okay this is one ten skill i already having a hard time i can't imagine those super small human figures how are they gonna paint it as for the hair i paint it white before that, I was thinking of painting it black. It looks like the uh, Batman Return version, but let's do the white one because this is the Flash movie, the Old Man Kitten. As for the black part, I'm using airbrush and then I sealed it with the matte coating. Put a resin on the eyes, make it look shining. And I think it's done. So which one do you prefer? The mask version? Or the unmasked version let me know How was it? Pretty simple to paint, isn't it? Actually, I wanted to paint the head in black, just look like the Batman Return movie in 1992. But since this is the Flash movie, okay, Keaton Batman is an old man, so I paint it in white. Looks okay. So for the fundraising, I'll put the link at the description below, okay? You can check out the pricing. or price I put, I listed it there is include everything okay the time the wear and tear of the printer the post processing hiring effort the painting the sanding everything so the price although is slightly higher but it includes everything and the reason why i started the fundraising is because i can actually determine how many numbers that i got so even though it doesn't reach the desire number the 30 orders number but i'll still print it anyway even if i got five orders only or 10 orders only i'll just print it paint it and ship it up to you okay so for those who are interested click the link the fundraising below and this is the first time i'm using the stripe payment because paypal holds my money for a very long time even though i don't have any refund or fraud record and my account wasn't new but paypal policy constantly changed so this is the first time i'm using a stripe payment for those who successfully make the payment through stripe payment method remember to pm me my page or my instagram to update me screenshot the order update me your full shipping details okay once i finish it i'll ship out immediately and my bag mobile is incoming okay bought it from china taobao as well it's faster than my local malaysia seller for this bad wing but mad mobile i saw someone actually got it already so the next video will be the bad mobile i'll do a very simple repaint as you know the gray canopy is kind of weird and the painting on the bad mobile is kind of plastic looking 
So I'll do a very quick repaint and share with you that you can use a very minimum effort to make it look better. As for this bad wing, I think I don't have the time to repaint it and I think the paint, the original paint is looking very good already. And that's all for today's very quick unboxing and the quick painting process on this, the Keaton 3D printed Batman. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and give me a like on this video. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.